2008 Smart Car. I'm going to walk you through the process of changing your front brake pads and rotors. I'm Brian Esker from How To Automotive, and we're going to get started. So we're going to get started by removing the caliper bolts here and here. So after removing the two 13 millimeter bolts that hold on the caliper, you'll just want to flip it out of your way. And you're going to take off the, uh, the cage here. There's two bolts on the back. So you will remove the two 18 millimeter bolts and remove the cage and brake pads. Now that we have the cage off, the next step is to remove the radio, uh, the rotor. So we're going to remove the, the it looks like a T27 Torx here. We'll remove the torque and then the rotor should come off. Actually, that was a T30. Anyways, the best way I found to get that off is to use an impact screwdriver like so. So you put that in the in the bolt, and you would smack the end of this with the uh, with a hammer, and that would, and it has a little mechanism here that helps pop it free. So after you get the the bolt free, then you want to remove the rotor. And if it doesn't come off, then what you can do is take a hammer like so, and be careful not to hit the hub, but you can hit it right here. And watch your toes. So now it's time to put our new rotor on. One of the things you want to do is try not to touch the surface of the rotor with your hands and get any dirt or grease on it. Um, that's the, one of the biggest causes for brick squeaks is getting grease and stuff on it and it cake, it burns onto the rotor and it, it kind of creates like hot spots and stuff. So try not to touch the actual surface of the, uh, of the rotor or the new, or the new brake pads themselves. Um, okay, when I put this on, I also put on a little bit, a little dab of blue Loctite thread sealer on the thread here. And that prevents this bolt from backing out. And then I'm also gonna uh, put that blue Loctite thread sealer on the, uh, bolts that went to the cage, the caliper cage here. So before I put this cage on, I'm going to take a wire brush and I'm going to clean the surfaces. So I'm going to scrub the surfaces with a wire brush to clean off a little bit so that way the brake pads and new pads slide freely. Okay, now that our cage is torqued back down, it's time to put the brake pads on. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little what they what call seal glide. It's brake caliper, special grease made for uh, brake pads. It's, reduces it you know, doesn't run off and break down with heat so you're going to put a little bit on the back of the pads make sure you don't get any on the front and then also on the little little right here where the brake pads slide on the on the uh, caliper housing right here we're just going to put a little thin and thin layer of uh, grease there and that'll help keep everything sliding so now the inner pad the, it has this little anti, uh, it, not anti, but it's a little rat, uh, when it, the brake pads wear down, they touch this little metal tab and they create a squeak and that's how you know when to change your brakes. So if you look at this, the worn out one, you see how it's worn right up to it and it makes a squeak noise. So you want to put that one on the inside and the, the, uh, ant the clip should be on the down, on the downward part of the, uh, rope on the, uh, inner pad. And the outer pad doesn't have the click, has the you know, the squeaker. So, so you want to put them on, and they just slide on like so, and that's it. Now we need to press the piston back into our caliper. So to do that, I'm going to use a C clamp, and you just put an old the old brake pad in there, and you run the run the piston back in. You don't have to open the bleeder screw. What happens is the fluid will push back up into the master cylinder. And on this particular car, I've never had a problem with doing that. Some cars, it's not recommended, but this one, uh, I haven't had an issue with it yet. So once the piston's fully seated, now you're ready to put the caliper back onto the, uh, the caliper cage and pad assembly here. If you don't have a C-clamp, you can use a large pair of channel locks. And uh, large pair of channel locks will work. And sometimes if they're really stiff, you may have to open the bleeder screw. If you have to open the bleeder screw, you'll have to bleed the brakes after you're done. If you do it this way, you will not have to bleed the brakes. You'll just have to pump the brake pedal before, uh, before driving. So when putting the calipers back on, you just want to level these little uh, spring tensioners here. They, they kind of, uh, and then you want to slide the caliper on over like so. And then these little springs will press up against the inside of the caliper here and, and keep the tension of the pads on the, uh, you know, towards the uh, front of the car. So that keeps them from rattling around. Actually, 
Before we put our caliper back on, you want to take these little pins here on the side and twist them, and uh, they pull off. You just pull the rubber boot off, and these pull out. And then you put a little grease on here if they need it, and then put them back in and slide them, and make sure they uh, they, they slide back and forth for you, the top and bottom. Okay, put a little blue Loctite on your uh, on your nuts on the nuts here that bolts that go in. And you put your caliper on and tighten the bolts down. One thing may happen is this little pin here may spin, especially after you lubed it, lubed it up. It may spin when you try to tighten it, and you'll have to use a, a wrench to back it up and just hold hold it in place and then tighten the bolt and snug them down. Once you do that, um, now it's time to put your, your wheels back on and you're done with the job. Just before you drive it though, uh, pump your brake pedal. If you, uh, if you did it my way, if you open the bleeder screws, you need to bleed the brakes now. And um, I'm Brian Essen from How To Automotive and I'd like to thank you guys for watching my videos and uh, remind you to subscribe for more valuable uh, videos like this. And uh, I'd like to thank you again.